Ayo hey, LAZ, if you pushing a good vehicle, make sure you pull up on my bros in Brooklyn in East New York, 225 Montauk, you heard? Brooklyn Splash. This is a father and son black owned business car wash that's popping in BK. Make sure you pull up, tell them LAZ, Z Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you, you heard? Once again, that's 225 Montauk between Pickin and Belmont. And in this paragraph with a death wish My name is Royal Flush, pardon my exit Woo. Play the table, get your cards right Shout out to Henny Black, chief of Royal Flush on the track we LAZ, make sure you follow Austin Block Records LLC on all platforms You heard Facebook, YouTube, Instagram Hey yo, LAZ, Gen Pop gang in the building, comment gang in the building Slim Blunt gang in the building. Make sure y'all tear this up. Get that algorithm fluffy. Yersk. Broadcasting live from New York City. It's the hottest channel on these YouTube streets. The best jail stories and hood stories are here. Make sure you subscribe today. LAZ. such we just chased off the block and someone was like yo what he was like yo that nigga's gotta go get that thing right now you feel what i'm saying son is coming back i swear to god like no more than two minutes later i just see mad motherfuckers start running inside the barbershop just start hearing the nigga you know letting off shots and just booming boom boom you know what i'm saying and i'm like oh Before anything, though, I just want to give you your flowers and shit, you know what I'm saying? You're doing what you're doing, you know, um, you definitely got the YouTube streets on lock, and I, I want to thank you for, um, for, for providing me your ear, as well as your audience, so I can get my shit off, you know? This is like some therapeutic shit for a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, my brother, and I, and I appreciate that you decided to give that story to me. Appreciate Yo, that. and that's a fact, my niggas, let me tell you something, like, I, I ain't, I've, I've been holding this thing for years, this shit happened in 2020, so I've been holding this shit, I ain't, Never really break down the whole story to, to um, my moms, my brother, you know, none of my peoples. Like, this time I've been holding them type shit, you know, and I don't know, some just compelled the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, to, um, to you know, let this guy, um, guy out there to you first, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I, th I thank you for that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, um, so now I, I want to get into the story about how I got pop in the motherfucking barbershop that I, I was working at, you know what I'm saying, in East New York, you know what I'm saying? Um, and a little, a little background, I'm from the East, born and raised. I was born and raised in Star Right, actually, until I was about um, 13. Came to age in the Bamas, you know what I'm saying? That's a legendary piece we got in the town. If you know, you know. And, you know, I, I lived in other spots, you know, like in Jersey for five years. Um, I'm in Florida now, raising my family. Um, But whenever I think of home, it always, you know, it always brings me back to the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Back, back, back to East New York. And, you know... The, the location of this story is Trini's International Barbershop, you know what I'm saying, which is in East New York, on, on Montauk Avenue, right there between Pickett and Belmont, you know what I'm saying, it's been standing there for about 20 years, you know what I'm saying, 20 plus, actually, you know, and uh, sh shout out to the owner, Trini, you know what I'm saying, to this day, that, that's my big bro, that's my mentor, you know what I'm saying, I got nothing but love and respect for that man, Um, you know, because he, he basically showed, he, he showed a nigga what that, that the American dream is achievable, you know what I'm saying, for, for blacks and minorities, you know what I'm saying, um, the brother, he's from Trinidad, you know what I'm saying, immigrated to the U.S., you know, grinded his way in getting this business, and that shit is still thriving to this day, and th that nigga's like, hands down, the best barber I done ever seen, you know what I'm saying, like, these days with all that Instagram shit, with all that spray and shit, I, I swear to God, my brother was making niggas look like that without none of that spray, barely without even the razor. You know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, he, he, he um provided me an opportunity um, to feed my family, and I'm always grateful for that. And how me and Trini got locked in was, you know, um I had just caught a case in Jersey, a little bullshit case in Jersey, um growing bud plants with the white boys and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother story in itself. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, um, one of them got in trouble, you know, threw me under the bus, you know what I'm saying, and sent me back home. 
And and that shit got me tight, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't do any time behind that, but I ended up with a felony. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? That shit is travel on a nigga record and shit. And I didn't, you know, you know but, I, but I digress, you know what I'm saying? So basically, when I came back to the town, I was just to try and turn things around for myself, you know what I'm saying? And my mom just happened to come up on some bread from, um, from a lawsuit type shit. You know what I'm saying? She threw a little payback at me. And, and I went to barber school with that. I used the paper to go, um, go to barber school to get certified to do the barber shit. And at the time, I was living on... I was living on fountain, fountain and picking. You know what I'm saying? And the ox I go to was was connected to Trinity's Barbershop. You know what I'm saying? And for those who don't know, the ox is um 24 hour Arab deli. You know what I'm saying? And you know it was a store. It was two connected storefronts, and it just so happened when I was graduating the barber school shit, I done, I saw a, a a a sign in the window. You feel what I'm saying? When I was going to the ox, I said they needed a barber. So, I, you know, I called the numbers, chopped it up with Trini. He told me to come through the next day with my, my equipment. And, you know, we was locked in ever since. You feel what I'm saying? And this was, this was like late 2016, early 20, um, yeah, late 2016, early 2017 type shit. When, you know, when I first started working there. And, you know, it, from, from like the second I got there, my nigga, like I was already hearing you know, stories and shit that done, done, done went down, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas done run up in, in the barbershop, rob niggas and shit. Um, I ain't heard a story about a nigga getting shot six times while he was getting a cut inside there. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, we, we from the East, that's like regular shit, you know what I'm saying? I was there to get paper, I wasn't involved with myself in, in no street shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just there to try to cut niggas' hand and mind my business. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, you know, the customers in the community was already, like, putting me on, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, shit should be going down, not only in the barbershop, but in that in that area, on that block. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, I, so not long after I started working there, I already saw shit going down. You, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I started working there late 2016. By summer 2017, 2017 you know what I'm saying, a nigga got popped in front of the shop. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, and, you, why you was at work? Nah, this one, this one I didn't see. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this happened on like late night type shit when, when the shop was already closed. I just so happened to go back to the ox, you know, probably to grab a leaf. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, whatever I was grabbing, that just, you know, I saw the crime scene. Pardon me. And you know, once niggas saw me like in front of the store, they was putting me on. They was like, yo. Niggas just got popped in front of the shop type shit. You know what I'm saying? The shop was all taped off. And but by but by the next day that you know they put that shit down and and um you know shit was back to regular business. And what, what's that the was, close, and that, what's the closest piece to the barbershop? Cyprus. Cyprus, yeah, you yeah, you walk down you walk up picking and um yes, yeah, it's, it's Cyprus and then Pink Houses is kinda of far. Cyprus and um we, we call that shit PA, you know, and um, what's that shit really called, Florentino? Yeah, Picking Avenue Projects? Yeah, yeah, we call that shit PA Projects, and um, that shit's like a couple blocks up, though, but the closest P is Cypress, you know what I'm saying? But not, not that many Cypress niggas is really coming through, though, over there. That was more like a side block barbershop, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, so yeah, so um, Sun had got popped on 2017. And, and, the cra- and it was like I think that was like June So it was It was it was like When shit was heating up already But then 2018 The same brother Gets body Like right there In front of the shop The same that dude one, that, The same dude That got shot the first time Facts Where he was hustling in, Over there I don't even know The back story of that You know what I'm saying Like I, I never I never knew the back story Because this is like When I first was working there, you know what I'm saying, and I wasn't involved basically in, in like none of the street shit. So like, um, this brother, I happened to know him. I, I might have cut his head a couple of times. He wasn't like a regular customer, but he would be like, he was he was part of a group that that was chilling on those on those side blocks, on, you know those, those side block niggas. You know what I'm saying? And the main blocks over there was like Montauk Avenue, which is on the, the block the shop is on, and Atkins Avenue. You know what I'm saying? That's the main block that you know niggas really be on and. You know, saying he was part of the group that you know be with them, and I really, I, I really don't know the background story to this day. 
You know, and, you know I, was, I, was, I wasn't really no asking no questions. But I did, and I was right there when Son got body. It, it you feel was, what I'm saying? Why you was why you was in there cutting hair and shit? Nah, it was so crazy. Was I had left for the day? Trini, Trini, the, the owner of the shop, he was in, he was still in there, right? I left for the day, but and I ends up coming back. You know what I'm saying? To to grab my leaf. You know what I'm saying? I left my leaf in the shop, so I come back to get my leaf. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's two there's two brothers standing on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like you know two two brothers that you know that be hanging on that corner. Um. I saw them, I said, what up? Dapped them up. And it seems like no more than two seconds after I finished dapping the niggas up, a V had pulled up and, and started letting those shots. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm ducking. I'm ducking. I'm running inside the ox that I told you about. You feel what I'm saying? And now, now this, this, um, this plays a significance in... Um, in, into the story that, that we getting into. So when when Sun got body, what I did was, you know what I'm saying, to, to get out of the way of the motherfucking bullets, I ran through the ox, you know what I'm saying, and the ox have a back door that you go open and you take a couple of steps. I wouldn't call it a, call it a hallway. It's like a space. You, like two steps and you open another door and you in, in, and you in back inside the barbershop. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I did when um when Sun got shot. Sun had got... Um, yeah, I think he got popped once in the face and, and, and twice, something like that. This, this is all verified, too. That, you, know, you can look that article up. You know what I'm saying? That happened in 2018. I forgot I forgot the exact date. And other shit, you know, other shit like that happened. Um, one of my one of my mans even had got sliced in front of the barbershop for a cigarette. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that barbershop like, sound like that shit was extremely dangerous. Yo, my nigga, yo, we was calling that shit the world's most dangerous barbershop. That shit sounding crazy. Yo, it, yo, it, 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 it was crazy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't like that on an everyday basis, but like, you know what I'm saying? Shit was going down. You know what I'm saying? And in the whole surrounding area, you know, like even through the gentrification, you know what I'm saying? The East still got spots where you know it, it get turned back. You know, you feel what I'm saying? Fast forward to 2020. You know what I'm saying? This is when the shit went down. By that time. Now, but I'm what ready. you were saying, you said somebody got cut with a razor in front of the shit? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My motherfucking, my, my man from, that I knew from high school, my nigga got, got cut in, in the motherfucking face in front of the shop. And you know what's so crazy? I ain't, and this, this happened in 2020 anyway, you know what I'm saying? So this happened like right, this, this must have, nah, this didn't happen in 2020. This must have been like 2019. Like right, right before, um, right before the ball dropped, this must have happened. Um... Yeah, my, 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 my man is just there in front of the shop. I guess he's smoking a cigarette. And a nigga comes up to him like, yo, let me get a cigarette. <laughs> my man's like, I ain't got no cigarette. And then he, he said, son, just pulled out a razor and stabbed him in the face. That's crazy. He ain't know the nigga. Know, he, he ain't had no nah, beef, no nigga. Nah, he ain't nothing. know that. Nah, he ain't know the nigga. He was, you know what what he, was he was a barber? Nah, it, like, I, I, I had, I had... I was in there, you know, for so long, you know what I'm saying? Some of my mans would come through the, the shop just to chill with me, you know what I'm saying? So he, he had just popped up to chill with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And he just had, went outside to smoke a cigarette, and, you know, it happened just like that, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that, that was 2019, that shit happened. And, you know, what's so crazy, this shit happened in front of the shop, but I was cutting a nigga head, and I didn't even realize that shit was going down. You know what I'm saying? Another, another, another nigga had walked inside the shop. He was like, "Yo, you see the two niggas fighting in front of the shop?" I was like, "Nah, I ain't gonna see that shit." And then I see the um, and I see the shit um pop up on my citizens app and said, "Um, man, um, sliced in face." You feel what I'm saying? I see that shit on the citizens. I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then you know, then I found out it, it was my man's that it happened to. But um, yeah, you know, and, and, and you know, shit like that was was happening. On that block in, in, in the surrounding areas, you feel what I'm saying? And so, so I right, so yeah, so the, the day I got popped was, was January 30th, 2020. You know what I'm saying? And the shit had um oh you know what? Before we even get into the shit, man, you I, I know you fuck with the gods and shit. You know what I'm saying? I believe in a higher power. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. To subscribe to, to no religion type shit, but I'm I'm deep into my African spirituality type shit. You know what I'm saying? 
So I was I was always rocking an aunt. You feel what I'm saying? And I was told that, you know, if, if your aunt breaks, you know what I'm saying? That means like some bad luck type shit is about to happen. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm telling you that because like, I, I guess, I, I think like a couple of weeks before this shit happened, I'm, I'm rocking this shit on my, on my neck for years, like two or three years already. You know what I'm saying? The same, the same aunt. And the shit just snaps out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Just breaks off for no reason. I ain't touch it. Not nothing. It just, it just breaks. What, what you know was, what I'm saying? What it was a chain? It was made out of what? It was. The, I had um. You know the the roster, the roster had made it to me. It was made out of like fish hooks that had like beads on it. It was strong. It was strong. You feel what I'm saying? I had it. I had had it for a couple years already. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I was always told. You know what I'm saying? If, if that shit break, you know what I'm saying? That 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 means like some bad luck shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, but I, so I went back to the dread, and I and I just had got another one. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't really even explained to the nigga what happened. I just went and bought another one. You know what I'm saying? And all right, so we gonna fast forward to January 30th. It was just like any other day. You feel what I'm saying? Nothing, it was it was it was nothing special. Um, like like I said, I was established in the shop. So, you know, even if I didn't have customers in the shop, I would always have dudes in the shop with me. You feel what I'm saying? I had, you know, I had, I had my niggas from Starlight pulling up every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Niggas I know from the Bambas would pull up every once in a while. And, you know, just running up dudes that I had, you know, formed a bond with in that community for being there. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I, I was on, the, I was on the, um, the music shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Back then. And, you know... Being in the shop, you run into like-minded niggas who on the same type of shit you on, and you know I, I formed the bond with, with with certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? We became brothers. You know what I'm saying? You know, and to this day I always got love for them. You know what I'm saying? Even though we're not really in touch like that. You know what I'm saying? But I said that to say this. Um, one of my one of the dudes that you know I had bonded with over the music shit just happened to be in the shop that day with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to say too many names. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't really asking nobody. You know, for permission to put this shit out there and shit. But I, I just want to shout out my nigga June. You know what I'm saying? Who who was in there with me? You know what I'm saying? Whose life has changed forever. You feel what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sympathetic. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, towards him for the for the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we was just innocent innocent bystanders in, in um in this shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it was just like any other day, my nigga. Um, it was kind of slow. You know what I'm saying? Because like seven o'clock, no no more customers was coming through to the barbershop. You feel what I'm saying? But like I told you, this was my spot. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we doing all types of shit in the shop. You know what I'm saying? We rolling L's, you know what I'm saying? Cutting ass, putting balls together, you know, watching TV, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So no more customers was coming coming through past seven. But here it was already like I think almost 8, 8.30, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in the shop. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, it was um, it was a couple dudes in there with the, in, in the shop, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say nobody name. It was a couple dudes with me. And I, I had latched the door, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the door had a latch on it, you know what I'm saying? So nobody else could get in. Because I was, I was about to shut shit down anyway, you know what I'm saying? I had just called the Chinese restaurant. I had ordered, ordered my food. I was going, you know, wait, wait a couple minutes get my food and then, you know, put the gate down type shit. So I put a latch on so nobody else could come in and try to get a cut. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm sitting, damn, I, I, damn there's no way to, I don't to describe this. I'm sitting on like a bench. You you know how the, how the barbershop got all glass windows type shit, right? So I'm, I'm sitting on a bench with my back towards the street. You feel what I'm saying? But you it's all glass and you can see shit go, you know, you can see niggas walking up and down the block. Everybody can see what's going on inside inside the ball shop and vice versa. So I see out my peripherals, you know what I'm saying? Like um, like seven, eight niggas chasing one dude down the block. You feel what I'm saying? So I just say out loud, I'm like, I'm like, yo, who that? You know what I'm saying? So once I say that. A dude who was in the shop with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say no names. He he unlatched the door because these is his niggas that he had recognized chasing a motherfucker down the street. You know what I'm saying? So he unlatch unlatches the door and he open. You know what I'm saying? He calls out to the niggas. He's like, "Yo, who 
that? And they tell a nigga, you know what I'm saying? They like, yo, at such and such, we just chased off the block. And someone was like, yo, what? He was like, yo, that nigga's got to go get that thing right now. You feel what I'm saying? Son is coming back. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Because I don't, you know, I don't know the name that they said, no nothing. But the way this nigga's reacting, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He's saying shit's about to get serious. Feel me? But these niggas ain't hearing them, though. They're like, nah, I'm going to kill this nigga. He, he can't come back here. You know what I'm saying? They, they feeling themselves at the time. You know what I'm saying? Because they thought, you know, they chased son off the block. And, yo, I swear to God, like, no more than two minutes later, I just see mad motherfuckers start running inside the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers are scrambling like roaches, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was happening so fast, it took my motherfucking brain, like, three seconds to compute what the fuck these niggas is running from. You feel what I'm saying? But then it clicked. I'm like, oh, shit. So... I get up, you know what I'm saying, and I, and I start running towards the door I told you about. You remember the door I told you about that connected the yeah. barbershop yeah. to the um, to the A-Rap? You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas already, yo, niggas ran in the in the barbershop so fast and 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 locked themselves in the bathroom, so I couldn't go there. So the only place I could run was that door. So while I'm running through the door, I just start hearing a nigga, you know, letting off shots, niggas booming, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, I, I caught one to the arm. You know what I'm saying? The force of that shit, my nigga, knocked me right off of my feet. You feel what I'm saying? But I pops right back up, and I, and I run out that door, you know what I'm saying, into that, into that little space to try to open up the other door. You know what I'm saying? And yo, my nigga, tell me why the fucking door is locked on the other side. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm stuck in this spot. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a hallway. It's, it's like a little space between two doors. You know what I'm saying? Completely in the dark. And I'm, and I'm trying to unlock the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to open the door. And I'm banging on the fucking door. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, open up the fucking door. Yo, it's me. Open up the fucking door, right? And on the other side of the door, I can hear niggas like, yo, nah, son, no, open up the fucking door. Them niggas is shooting in there. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I heard that. I started wowing. You know what I'm saying? I'm banging on the door crazy. I'm like, open up this motherfucking door. All the fucking chop keys on them boys from y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Slob some leaf under there for a nigga or something. You know what I'm saying? My niggas just leaving me for dead. So, and, and yo, it was so crazy, man. Yo, mad niggas was in the shop. It was, it was crazy. Some Dominican niggas in there. I was like, how the fuck a Dominican nigga show up here? You know what I'm saying? Spanish shop is up the block. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he's trying to be like, yo, he's like, Papa, quiet down. I'm like, no, I know quiet down. I get shot. You know what I'm saying? And now, while all that shit is going down, what I don't hear is that sun is outside. You know what I'm saying? Sun is outside still tearing up the block. You, you, know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and if, I don't know... If, I know you got um your, your reaches is, is far, so if you're not familiar with New York City, it's it's not uncommon even in the wintertime, you feel what I'm saying, for motherfuckers to be out, you know, at 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. And I'm talking about little kids, old ladies, motherfuckers coming home from work. So this nigga shooting up the whole block, you know what I'm saying, shooting through car windows and shit. Old ladies is running inside the store, you know what I'm saying? Children is in, all that, you know what I'm saying? Tearing up the block. I don't hear him doing that while I'm banging on the motherfucking door trying to get in on the other side so I can get the safety, you feel me? So, now, after that, all that happened, while I'm banging on the door, all of a sudden I hear another, I hear another two gunshots, and these shots is coming from inside the shop. You feel what I'm saying? So now his son is inside the shop. He must have came in, tried to open up the bathroom door. And, he, you know what I'm saying? He knows there was locked, so he knew niggas was in there. And he started shooting through the fucking door. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Now his son is inside this fucking, in, inside this fucking shop. You feel what I'm saying? And I, I hear a nigga's voice, you know what I'm saying? What I recognize 
as my nigga June say something to the something he said something to the effect of yo yo come on my nigga we ain't even had nothing to do with this shit bro you feel what I'm saying and that shit always stuck with a nigga because I never heard fear in another man's voice like that. You feel me? And and until and, and to this day, I'm always sympathetic. Even you know what I'm saying. Even though I was a victim too in the situation, I was always you know um, sympathetic. You know what I'm saying towards that brother's situation as well. You know what I'm saying. Um. So, but once once son said that, you know what I'm saying. I I don't know if it snapped the nigga shooting out of his motherfucking blind murderous rage or if the nigga ran out of, out of bullets but you know what I'm saying son got low after that and you know what I'm saying I, we ain't had no shots and you know finally the nigga you know what I'm saying I hear somebody from the other side of the door go yo 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 Mike that's you and I go yeah that's me nigga open up the fucking door mm-hmm. right yo and, and when niggas open up the door who is it that I see one of the niggas that said he was about to do all the fucking killing. You know what I'm saying? This nigga done made it scot free. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got in the ox. You know what I'm saying? And they locked that door. On, they locked the um the front door also. You know what I'm saying? What so you that mean? It was one of the niggas that was that was chasing him. It was yeah, yo, yo yeah, my nigga was it was the nigga that started the whole shit. You, you he, feel what I'm saying? He was the one saying, "Don't open up the door." I, I, I don't know who was saying don't open up the door, but once but when um when niggas was like yo yo that's you Mike that that was him I don't really remember recognizing the voice that said don't open up the door I don't I don't think it was him you feel what I'm saying I ain't gonna say he did that but you know what I'm saying he he was literally the nigga that opened up the door for me you feel what I'm saying mm. so yeah that shit had me tight you know what I'm saying I wasn't feeling that you know what I'm saying because you know. I had nothing to do with this shit, and I, I, I'm the nigga that ended up getting hit. So, um, you know, then the police come, you know what I'm saying, and they, they saying, they, they're like, yo, what happened? I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what the fuck happened, you know what I'm saying? They're like, all right, listen, the ambulance is coming, but you got to wait for the second ambulance because there's a female in the shop, you know what I'm saying, that's shot in the back. And that's when I, that's when I knew, I was like, oh, shit, that was, that was my son, June, Wifey that got shot in the back. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn. She was man. in the barbershop? She was in the barbershop. They they used to always, like I said, they used to always be in the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? I had like I had a group of niggas that, you know what I'm saying, we started doing music together and shit. That we, you know, we just formed the bond together, you know, and we ended up like chilling every day type shit. You know what I'm saying? We just, if we wasn't in the shop, we was in each other's crib type shit. You feel what I'm saying? And they would they would on, on this day. You know what I'm saying? Think the higher powers again. They would usually bring like they they three three year old son to the barbershop with them. You know what I'm saying? He was always in there. You know what I'm saying? It'd be twelve o'clock at night. The nigga was in there with us. And it just so happened this day they they ain't had the little nigga with them. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. But you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that that's when I found out. You know what I'm saying? Shorty got got hit in the back. Um. You know, I, I, I got, um, they took me to Brookdale, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I remember, I remember, um, I, I just remember a, a lot of niggas pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Showing a nigga love, and I, you know, I, I'll always be grateful for that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> because, like I said, I, I was there for a couple of years. Like, I, I became part of, uh, of that community, you feel what I'm saying? You know, I, I was responsible for niggas, how, how niggas was looking, you know, you know what I'm saying? Haircut-wise. And you know what I'm saying? And I was cutting the same niggas for years. And, you know, and shout, shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of dudes um came and, and showed me love. You know what I'm saying? And made sure, made sure I was good. And at, and at the time, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm sitting in the hospital, I'm thinking that that son who did the shit is not even going to get caught. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know, um. You know, niggas was doing a lot of shit um, in the shop, you know what I'm saying? My son Bryce, you know, um, God bless the dead, he, he took a little bra with him one time in the shop and he had unplugged the surveillance system. Feel me? And ever since, ever since he unplugged it that one time, once we tried to plug it back in, it, it wouldn't work anymore. Like, it wouldn't record, it wouldn't even turn on. 
So, you know, that whole time I'm sitting in the hospital, but I'm like, yo, damn, son just got away, but you know, with a lot of carnage, you feel what I'm saying? It, who else got hit though? It was just you and the chick that got hit. It was just me and the chick that got hit. Facts, but um, you know, like son was. Let, I, I don't know how. I don't know how many guns this nigga had, but he, like I said, he let off a lot of shots. You know what I'm saying? He shot. I got shot through the glass. So the first thing he did was shoot through the glass. You know what I'm saying? Up the barber shop. That's how I got hit. He's shooting up and down the street, chasing niggas up and down, picking. You know what I'm saying? Then he comes back in the barbershop and lets on another two shots. You feel what I'm saying? And and I'm thinking, um, um, son ain't getting caught. So yeah, it was only me and um Shorty who got hit. You know what I'm saying? She got hit in the back. And you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it was crazy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I got hit in the arm, I got hit in the in a in a weird spot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like in between my bicep, it's like it, they said it was like kind of like the funny bone you know the funny bone part you, yeah. you kind of like laugh a little bit and it was crazy because when I got hit it felt like like I laughed a little bit you feel what I'm saying like when you hit your funny bone type shit mm. but um so yeah um I, I hails up you know what I'm saying um oh my god I had to drink some water but um so so while, while I'm healing up and, and shit I, I was laying low in um in, in Massachusetts you know what I'm saying with with, with um the wife and shit, she was living there at the time. It was um, it was a couple of weeks, and um, I, I'm, you know what I'm saying. I'm thinking son's not gonna get caught, whatever. But it just so happened, you know what I'm saying. He had got caught on on the Ox camera and the NYPD camera type shit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so niggas had um not, um the the DA had called me. You know what I'm saying? And um and basically they 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 gave me a subpoena and shit um to pull up you know what I'm saying and they wanted me to um to give a statement type shit and this is um this is just for the sake of the story you know what I'm saying I really don't give a fuck what niggas think about me and shit you know what I'm saying as far as this goes you know what I'm saying because you know a lot of, a lot of times you know growing up coming where we come from you know what I'm saying a lot of motherfuckers think that um the same rules apply to the gangsters as well as the civilians you feel what I'm saying. And you know, I I just think that um that's bullshit. But um for the sake of the story, um I did go there and I gave them a statement. And the only re- I just want to explain why I did it. You know, what I'm saying for the sake of the story is because I had plans on coming back to the shop. You feel what I'm saying? That you know that's that's where I was eating at. That's why I was I was providing for my family. So what I didn't want, I didn't want the police trying to snatch me up. Every, like when I when I get back. Trying to snatch me up, you know what I'm saying, and, and have police running in and out of the motherfucking barbershop while customers is there, is, is over there and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I went there to give a statement, and you know, and the only thing I could tell him was the same thing I'm telling you right now, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't see a nigga with a gun. I got shot from behind. I didn't I didn't even see basically I didn't really even see who niggas was chasing. You know what I'm saying? And that that's the only thing I told them niggas and you know what I'm saying? I, I did that so I could come back to the shop without having, you know what I'm saying, all that police, you know, attention or, or, or whatever you call it. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you know, customers see that shit, that might draw them away from the t- um, from the shop. You know what I'm saying? Bad enough with motherfucking shooting already done happen. You know what I'm saying? So did, did other people testify on that dude that did see his face and did see him shooting the gun? Nah, I, that that I know, I I don't know because I I I don't I never showed up to the um to the court. You know, so after that, after that that statement I did, I I never had anything to do with nothing again. You know what I'm saying? Because um because this this is like basically when when the pandemic happened. You know what I'm saying? And and you know everything got shut down, and I ended up getting stuck in Massachusetts anyway. You feel what I'm saying? But as far as my as far as I know. I, I don't know who else could have testified, you know what I'm saying? It was basically like, you know what I'm saying? The only people who got hit was somebody who got shot through a door and, you know what I'm saying, and, and from behind. You know what I'm saying? So, but as far as other, you know, maybe other witnesses, you oh, know somebody what I'm saying? Got, somebody got shot through the door? Yeah, like, when, when I was, you know what I'm saying? When I was in that space I told you about, there was niggas that was locked inside the barbershop bathroom. 
But they got they saying? got hit too. Yeah, that's that's how Shorty got hit in the back. Oh, she was locked in there. Yeah, she, she and, and 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 other motherfuckers too. That whole bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think like four or five motherfuckers must have packed up that little ass bathroom. I'm surprised. You know what I'm saying? All of them didn't get shot in there. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't even there's no room in that bathroom whatsoever. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's how I think it happened. You feel what I'm saying? And we was the only ones who got hit. And um, I I don't know if Shorty testified or or not. You know what I'm saying? I, how I how serious with, was her, her? Like she recovered from that shit? Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, um, as far as I'm concerned, she 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 was recovering. They couldn't take the bullet out of her back at first. Um, at, you know what I'm saying? When it first happened, they said that she had to lose a little bit of weight. You know what I'm saying? For them to be able to, to get the bullet out of her back. You know what I'm saying? And when, when we lost contact, I had, you know, she was in the process of doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she, I'm pretty sure, you know, to this day, she's still feeling pain behind that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like me, I only got shot in the arm. I, I feel pain every day. Mm. So, um, mm. and like I, and like I said, I had plans on coming back to the shop and this is what made me not come back to the shop. You know what I'm saying? Remember I told you my aunt, my aunt broke. You feel what I'm saying? Like a, a couple weeks before, you know what I'm saying? The shooting happened. So I'm in the hospital laid up for like a day or two. You know what I'm saying? They did the surgery. I got stapled up and shit. And my wifey had came from Massachusetts to take me back over there to heal up. And right before, you know what I'm saying? Right before I'm leaving to go um, and, and, and jump in the V, the motherfucking aunt breaks again. And this is a whole different one. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And, and I'm shook. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe in this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Is, you know what I'm saying? It's about to happen now. So you know, I'm, I'm in um, I'm in Massachusetts for a couple weeks, and it, you know what I'm saying? The time comes to um to take my staples out, but I had to go back. You know what I'm saying? To to Brookdale because my my insurance is running out of New York. You feel what I'm saying? So we. We, we on the motherfucking, um, on the highway and shit, and, and niggas just so happened to get hit up from behind by a motherfucking, um, um, some stupid ass, um, white nigga with one eye drunk with mad heroin in the car. You know what I'm saying? He hits niggas from behind, we fall, we, like, we, we veer off the highway, he flips five times, gets completely totaled. And that's what made me like, like really reflect. I'm like, yo, something's telling me not to go back to New York. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And you know, um, that and that's after that. That's basically um, when the pandemic happened. It was a whole bunch of shutdowns. You know what I'm saying? And you know, little by little, I just I started losing contact with, with, with everybody over there. You feel what I'm saying? I let the phone number go. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm, I'm basically just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm secluded in the crib with the fan. You know what I'm saying? In Massachusetts for like, you know, a, a, a year plus type shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, little by little, I just, you know, I, I you know, every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Might highlight, highlight a nigga over there, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I basically been secluded to myself ever since type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, um, yeah, um, I just, you know, I, I know this is a, um, not not the usual story you, you get for your channel. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to, um, you know, put a, put a little joint out there, man. Show niggas, you know, what, what it's like, you know, run, working for and, and running a black business. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, I, I'm 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 part Spanish. You know what I'm saying? And if, and if you saw me, you you would probably think I'm I'm straight Puerto Rican. You know what I'm saying? But my my frequency has always. You know, been, been black. You know what I'm saying? And I can relate to you um, with that same shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Puerto Rican and black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So my, my mom's just Puerto Rican, my pops is black, you know what I'm saying? But I, I always, you know, felt more in tune with, you know, with, with, with the black culture, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, it's just, you know, somehow I always felt, and, you know, and this this was a black business I was, I was working for, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and that's, that's just, the shit um, that that motherfuckers go through sometimes when, when when you do 
oh, you know, run a black business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm and, um, real with you though, bro. I'm going to keep it real. Like, barbershops, man, them shits can be death traps. Oh, yeah. I mean, you you, you always hearing about uh, um, a nigga getting popped in the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Because they, we, we sit in ducks in there. You never know. You could be, you could come to the shop getting the shape up, you shining, you know what I'm saying? You got bread in your pocket and you don't, you won't even know a nigga peeped you from outside the shop and is already lining you. You know what I'm saying? Why are you getting the cut? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that happens all the time. Yeah, many, you know what I'm saying? many of people in Brooklyn lost their lives in barbershops. Facts. So it's like, even when I get my hair cut, man, like, psh- I be in and out, you feel me? And I'm, I am I try to be as spontaneous as possible. Like, I just pop up on the barber like, yo, you good right now? I bet, let's roll, you feel what I'm saying? I'm, I don't really even like telling the barber that I'm on my way, but the key to that shit is, if you in the streets and you in the street life, you gotta be getting your hair cut at a barber shop that that shit ain't nowhere near connected to nobody you know. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that shit gotta be a total different barbershop from where you do your dirt at and all of that. Like, even yeah. if you gotta travel. In fact, I, I had I had I had clients that didn't want to be in the shop, you know what I'm saying? So I would do house visits, you know what I'm saying, for certain dudes. You feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So yeah, because, you know, I I, I, I I wasn't no motherfucking gangster, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm the type of nigga, I'd rather help a nigga than hurt a nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I, and I, I got good vibes, you know what I'm saying? I never really came across too many motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, that, that didn't like me, you know what I'm saying, for no reason, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just a regular nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Not, you know, not completely innocent, whatever, but, you know, just, just a civilian trying, you know, Trying to do something for my family, man. Trying to provide. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean, that's majority of the population, so they relate. That's a fact. Like, yo, my, my shop was really the spot at one time. Like, it was one of the best times of my life, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even after all that shit happened, my, I still cherish the experiences and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But um, yeah, I just you know, once again, I want to give a shout out. You know what I'm saying? So um. To the, to, to the brother Trini, you know what I'm saying? My mentor, my big bro. Love and respect, you know, nothing but loyalty, you know, to this day. Um, and, and rest in peace to Bryce, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was the other barber that, um, that that worked there, you know what I'm saying? He, um, he, he recently passed, you know what I'm saying, from a heart attack, you know what I'm saying, in, um, in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? That was that was my motherfucking brother, you know what I'm saying? But then, um, but then the week of knowing that nigga, you know what I'm saying, he... He didn't have me um, move into his crib. He had lived in Brownsville, P's. You feel what I'm saying? We, I, I lived right there on Rockaway with him for about like six months. You know what I'm saying? And we, we grew an unbreakable bond as well. You know, he, he, he's no longer here with us no more. He's back in the essence. And, you know, I miss that nigga, man. And, you know, it's just shout out to the whole East New York, man. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all.